Wow, just look at all these bikes scattered everywhere. What is up, YouTube? So today, we, I, I don't know what we're doing. What I do know is my editor Ryan's gonna be here in an hour, and we gotta get Julius's dirt bike up for sale. Julius! I found him. Woo! This thing is quite, look at the four coil. Oh, we're in trouble. Look at these grips. What in tarnation are, oh my gosh. Now, I found a new washing product and it seems to work very well. It's this bio wash. This bio wash seems to actually work. We're gonna give it a shot. And then after the bio wash, SC1. We're not gonna lay a hand on this bike with scrubbing and soap. That's how we normally do them. But uh, that stuff seemed to work on the KTM last time. Julius can scrub all he wants to if he wants to. It'll work and it'll make it nice, shiny, and clean. But uh, it ain't my bike, I'm not touching it. <laughs> Now this stuff, I'm pretty sure just breaks up a lot like the heavy dirt and grime, and there's a lot of it on here. Hey. Thanks, Julius. You're welcome, I got you. Are you uh, by happen sponsored by? BioWash? Bio yeah. No, not yet, but if they want to sponsor me. Feel free. I seem to like the product. Uh, it's just, I've only used, I've used over half a bottle and uh, there's like eight bucks and I don't feel like ordering more. Oh, dude, that's real nice up underneath there, dude. Oh. All right, so we're gonna let this stuff soak on the bike for just one minute, and then we'll just pressure wash it all off. Smokey the bear. Smokey the bear. Yeah, yeah. You dumb motherfucker. Hey, we can get the whole started now. <laughs> Dude, I, I touched it with the water, I was like, oh shit. All right, she's clean. That bio wash really works to clean this thing up. But once we hand dry it and throw some SC1 on it, we will have not laid a finger on it other than hand drying it, and this thing's gonna be freaking mint. That's your bike, you got it. It's SC1 time, baby. You gotta let the SC1 soak for a second and then wipe it all off. We got her all nice and shiny, boys. I think if we wanted to get this thing any more clean, it'd be, have to be a full detail. But just for a wash and the uh, SC1, it came out pretty mint. Pretty minty, if I say so myself. How much you want for it, Julius? Maybe a kid will come and buy it. I like three grand, I would've paid for it. Three grand? Anybody want it? Uh-oh, I think Ryan just pulled up. What is in the back? So Ryan's been driving all day for the past six hours to uh, get to my house. And he said he was bringing me a present. What in tarnations is this thing right here? Ryan! Dude. Hey, what's up, man? It's like a... Hey, just give me a hug, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is this thing right here? It's a piece, that's for sure. It looks like a piece of... <laughs> so, uh, what, what are we doing to it? Uh, pretty much everything to make it run. The pit Whatever bike, that may the pit be. bike race is in like four days, and, look, look, and your I'm bike saying, doesn't even run? All I'm saying is, I'm a pretty, I'm a really big dude, right? Okay. This is a really small bike. That's a CRF so, 100. Yeah. I thought that was, that's not, that's a trail it's, bike. It's, it's not like even a, a pit 50 bike. with me on it. So we'll see, if, <laughs> we'll see how that works. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this bike is a perfect example of what's going on with all these bikes I've been buying off of Facebook market Craigslist. He bought it cheap, doesn't run, has been sitting for like three or four years, guaranteed carb issue. He's been trying to get it running, but he hasn't tore into the carb. I'm gonna tear into the carb, get the thing running, and uh, it's gonna be pit bike race ready for this weekend. Uh, we got a CRF 100 here. Now, like I said, he bought this bike for a low price. 
because it's been sitting for four or five years. It's obviously it's going to be a carburetor issue. He brought it to me, his fellow mechanic, and uh, we're going to tear this carb off. And uh, all we need, 10 millimeter uh, wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, and you know, the regular carb cleaner and stuff. You guys already seen all this, so uh, I'm not going to bore you to death. All right, first things first, we're going to take off this uh, air intake boot. Just loosen up that Phillips head clamp. We're going to run over here, unbolt the carb from the uh, intake metafold, manifold, and then we'll pull off the other side. All right, got the other bolt off. Pull off this, this boot. All right, from the looks of it, it's dirty. Pull off the old carburetor. Wiggle this puppy on out of here. And uh, already I'm seeing green buildup on the intake side and a lot of wear to it, like it might have sucked in some trash or something. Next up, carburetor ball. We've been through this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, break that one loose. Careful not to strip them. All right, all the bolts are out. She is stuck on there. <laughs> Dude, it's shot. It is shot. The camera doesn't even do it justice. It do the camera doesn't do it. This gas is green. This bike right here, ladies and gentlemen, no doubt sat for three years with the gas in the carburetor. Oh, it smells. Yeah, it smells, it smells that, like straight that, alcohol. That it. gas smells like, yeah, alcohol. But I won't drink it. <laughs> oh, I sucked it. <laughs> it doesn't do it as much justice, but like, it is, it is so much crap in there. It is green and grimy. Dude, my throat honestly hurts from just breathing. Oh Look at all the grit that Dude, it smells off. so bad. That is the worst carburetor I've seen in a long time. <laughs> that's probably, that's why I couldn't Look at my it. fingers. I gotta wash this off. But all right, we're gonna poke out this uh, pin that's holding in the, uh, the float. It's crammed in there. Just from all, look at all the buildup. We're gonna drop that down into our little bowl. Look at this, y'all. The needle and seat are literally locked in there. It was getting no fuel into this carburetor. We're gonna go ahead and dump the float down into the parts. This is gonna be trouble getting out. This might make us have to get another carb. We're gonna get. We're gonna clean it with some carb cleaner, and then try to get this uh, block off needle valve out. Get the old handy dandy carbon chuck. I don't think there's enough in this bottle. We gotta get. I've never seen one get stuck in there like that. I'm gonna actually have to use the pliers on it. <laughs> that was like pulling a tooth. <laughs> that thing is shot. It's gonna take a lot of cleaning. Dude, it literally looks like there's green sand all in it. I know. We're <coughs> gonna go ahead. I gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to pull off all these lines. Let's go ahead and get the throttle cable. Pull out your uh, lock off right here. All right, so the choke's actually on the carburetor, so we don't have a line for that. We just got to pull off the gas line. Ah, and here's your carburetor. We're gonna have to run to town and get more fucking carb cleaner. See if there's any auto parts stores open. Seven miles away, closes in 20 minutes. Yeah, we're gonna have to go get more carb cleaner. Let's go right now. Grab the camera. Hop in, man. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, 20 minutes until O'Reilly's closed, and we have to get more carbon choke. We gotta go now. Carb cleaner, where is it at? We got the carbon choke. It smells good in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a whole freaking carburetor in our little parts mug. We got a lot of freaking cleaning to do. I'm not gonna make you guys watch all this, so uh, enjoy the little uh, cue, whatever this thing is. Montage? Yeah. Montage! cleaner on my lens bro uh, i bet it's gonna eat it dude all right so what's the deal we're looking for a 35 size jet because uh this one right here we cannot get it unclogged it's shit. 
we're never finding it again, so now we have to get a new one. Uh, we actually had a spare brand new carburetor for the 100 back when uh, we had the CRF100s here at the house. We're throwing on a new carburetor bulb because this one is, it was, took me 30 minutes to get clean, and this one has a fresh gasket and everything. Also threw a new main jet in there. It may or may not be the right size. I don't know. I hope we'll it is. We'll find out once we start riding and see how it acts. Threw in a new float and needle seat, and uh, I think we'll be able to get this thing going ASAP. So uh, we'll pick you guys up once we're done with this. That's a 35 jet right there. We're gonna screw her on in, put everything back together, and this thing should be ready to rock and roll. Let's throw her back in the bike and see if we can get her uh, running. We got a montage of the bike, dude. Garrett Porter style. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is something I have not showed you showed you guys on a uh, video. So here is no choke. Okay, here's your choke. And you see how this, this flap right here? It, it allows maximum airflow. When you put it on choke, this flap flips down and it restricts airflow. Whenever your bike's on choke, you're actually restricting airflow. So it's getting more fuel than air and that ratio is different and it helps it start. So if you guys didn't know, that's how a choke works. Whether it's a choke like this on the side of the carb or a choke you pull on your handlebars, it's all the same. I didn't connect the fuel line. You should film me. That's, uh, well, <laughs> you have Niagara Falls down here, dude. I know, but like, what I fucking go to fall? Well, you said you think you forgot something simple, and uh, there you go. Fuel line is connected. That's what I was forgetting. Let's get this thing away from the gas real quick. Yeah, it probably wouldn't There's be good. There's plenty of gas on the motor to start a fire, so the fire extinguisher's right there, right? Okay. Give her a couple of these numbers right here. Hasn't been started in how long? About three or four years. Three or four years. All we did is clean the carb. We got the choke on. There's no key, right? Well, there is, but it's turned on. Oh! Hey. Dude, that's awesome. The turd runs again, ladies and gentlemen. The turd runs again. I want to ride it, dude. You want to ride it? I do. Well, next step is, this bike's so old, it's been sitting so long. While we were in town getting this carb cleaner, we went ahead and got some Mobile One. Now, I don't know what we used to run these bikes. I just grabbed 10W30. Everything's gonna be fine. It's a Honda. Change the oil, check the air filter, and I think this oh, thing bad. is gonna be set to go ride. Let's look at it. I, I'm the curious. The air filter's bad, dude. You don't even want to look at it. Here, hold this over. Ouch. Ouch. Thank you. God I ordered you another I air filter, you, dude. Bad. We can't run it with this air filter look. Is it that bad? Look at it falling apart. Y'all see that? We can't run this air filter. We gotta wait till the new one comes in. Well, it's a four year old bike and she starts up, runs good, but we are not running it with this air filter or the top end's gonna have to be rebuilt, period. That oil is black as car. Is it? I'm the towel guy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said 10W40. It's all the same shit. Just different numbers. As, dude, long, we, as long as you're in like the ballpark. We could have just poured the old gas in there, dude. It would have still run. <laughs> and there's an oil change by yours truly. Now, Ryan told me about this little project. I went ahead, he said we, the petcock was leaking, ordered a petcock rebuild kit. Yeah, that's right, petcock. <laughs> ordered the petcock rebuild kit, ordered front brakes for it and also an air filter because I knew it was going to be trapped. Did I order an air filter? Oh, Yeah, you did. You sure? Yeah. Once that air filter comes in, I think it's tomorrow, this thing's going to be set to rock and roll. Until I, until I hop on it. Until you hop on it and the shock goes up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was shocking. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so 
Rocky Mountain ATV is supposed to be here today with the air filter and a whole bunch of stuff. Well, good morning, hey, ladies Ryan. and gentlemen. My name is Braden Price, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we gotta go pick up parts for the CRF 100. The FedEx parts are supposed to be here, but uh, all we really need is an air filter, and this thing's good to ride. So we're just gonna go pick one up real quick. There, there's the FedEx truck right there. Are you there. kidding me, bro? What were you saying? Uh, you were saying? Nothing. Put the camera away. What's your I'm practicing you my speech for when I win the race. I can't say it on camera. That's not going to be as good. Well, you're not going to win the race, so just go ahead and say your speech. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Okay. Well, is that a sneeze? Get bars for the pit bikes. I'm broke, dude. $69.99. I'm serious. $69.99. Alright ladies and gentlemen, air filter down. Now we just gotta find we gotta find tubes for the KLX and the 100. Right now the bank account's running a little bit low, so we're only getting the essentials here. See these are prime graphics, okay? Graphic designers, we don't need those. So you get the six and then you flip it the other way. Oh. And you get the nine. Oh. We got all the stuff, so uh I'm not gonna bore y'all to death. Time lapse time! We gotta get my bike going before it can ride yours. Cause we gotta rip them together? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We might rebuild this pedcock, but for now, reserve seems to work without leaking. We'll just rebuild it in the future, uh, but this bike's good. All right, so for the KLX, we got to put front and back brakes on it. We got to get rid of these crappy foot pegs and clean air filter, fresh oil, and handlebar risers. Let's get to work. Oh, and we also got to put a battery in it. We got one of those expensive what? lithium, locked on. What are those batteries called? Lithium. You got an electric start? Yeah! You might as well take the battery out for weight savings, dude. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Dad. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> That's the battery, dude. Feel how light it is. It's one of the lithiums. I wish you had a 100, bro. Look, look, look. This thing is literally... We don't need no fancy Oops. stuff, man. <laughs> we just gotta have a kickstart and some balls and that's it. Are you even ready for this dog? I don't think you're ready, man. All right, we got front brakes, back brakes, bigger foot pegs, electric start, handlebar risers, fresh air filter, fresh oil change. This thing's ready to rip. Okay, brakes work good. Sound like I snapped my rear fender though. This thing gets it. Oh, these brakes are so nice. Let's see if the fronts, fronts grab. Oh. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this video is probably like 30 minutes long at this point, but uh, I guess if you're still here, go down in the comments and say, we made it to the moto vlog, because we're fixing to go rip. <laughs> nice helmet. Are you wearing a flag? 
that your cape? Oh my, okay. Scrape it, scrape it. Woo! Oh, he's gonna hit that water. Oh, that's so bad. I don't want my feet getting wet. I'm not with my boots. I'm gonna put this thing through the, I've never jumped this thing, I don't think. So I gotta see what it's like getting airborne on this puppy. Let's hit this right here. Woo! Sketchy. The handlebar rides, right? I don't know how it helps with jumping. I hardly ever have jumped this thing. So I gotta get practice in, because we're going to like a motocross track almost. Ugh. Gotta practice getting that leg out. You lead. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, boy. You lead, we're going here. Let's see if we can make a little track. Berm right here. Oh! These, okay, we gotta watch out because these my front tire is a little tread, and uh, being it's small, it, it'll rip out from under you. I want boots on. I keep busting my ankles. Cheater, dude! Stay on the damn track. You better go, boy. <laughs> this pit bike race is gonna be fun. We're about to go race these shit out of these things. We got like no berms, no nothing. We're just gonna send it. All right, time to wax ass, boys. Let's get some boots. We're gonna wax some ass. You hear that, Ryan? I'm coming for you, boy. You ready to get waxed, son? Get that, son. Huh? 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 What you, you wanna get, get waxed, boy? You go? Bring it. Meet me on the track. He definitely has a bike advantage on me. All right, time to race, boys. Let's go. Just run it how I was, how I was running it. All right. this way <laughs> where is he I guess we can go this way <laughs> oh! Dude, that thing just can turn so much better. That's like an actual it's bike. It's stuttering though. It's stuttering. Yeah, a little bit. This thing, like, I can't. Whenever I go into turns and come out of them, I can't get my knee. My knees gotta come so high up onto the bike. Why are you huffing and puffing, dog? Cause I whooped your ass. We gotta get. For, we gotta get ready for this race. Let's race. What the hell? Woo! Shit! See that? 
Yeah, it's got your flag, dog. Come on now, that's disrespect. It sucked your flag right up. I wish we all had CRF 100s, dude. I know, but I think if I had the 100, I used to rail those things, dude. I'm gonna ride this thing real quick. This thing's got a lot more length. You can control the your foot pedal so much better. This thing flies, dude. This thing's it's so fun hitting this corner right here. I know, Seven that's the best one. <laughs> I love these 100s, dude. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. See how it does in the turns. Oh my, yes. He's gonna wax the competition on this thing. Nope. Oh boy. That tire looks dumb flat. That's because I'm on it. No, like it looks flat, flat. Oh yeah, it's flat. It's flat? Yeah. I knew it. But I guess I gotta go put a new inner tube in that damn bike. Oh yeah, she's flat. Well, time to go do more work. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're not gonna have this 30 minute long video any longer, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video. And uh, well, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the pit bike race, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.